Hello, so we will be talking um, further about uh, IVC, the inferior vena cava, and I'm going to talk about methods in which you can optimize your view when visualizing the inferior vena cava. Um, I usually like to use two different approaches, which I think it's probably the only uh, approaches you can use when um, using ultrasound to image your IVC. Um, I like to go anteriorly, which is the anterior approach. And sometimes I like to use the flank approach, which is going in between the, lip, uh, the ribs, um, more like a subcostal uh, approach. So today I have a young model with me. And using the um, anterior approach, you can see, uh, see your IVC um, as you angle towards the right um, of the patient. Um, your aorta is usually as you angle towards the left of the patient. So again, looking on the screen here, I'm going to have her taking a deep breath, deep breath in it for me and hold it. And you can see your IVC there. Um, you can see that it's, um, it opens and slowly closes. Go ahead and breathe out. And you can see that um, relax all the way. Um, and you can see how your IVC opens and closes because, again, we're looking at the veins. I'm going to go ahead and put color on that IVC. And you can see, again, deep breath in for me and hold it. And you can see the IVC. I can follow that down the belly. Breathe out for me. Breathe out. Very good. And that's your IVC. Um, using the anterior approach. You can see your hepatic veins um, taken off um, the left hepatic vein right at that segment as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the flank approach, which is uh, trying to get it um, using a subcostal um, approach. Again, you have your liver, um, your right lobe there, and I'm going to have it taking a deep breath in and hold it, deep breath all the way in. Good. And you can um, kind of try to clean it out a little bit there. And again, I'm going to put color on that view and you can see the IVC. I'm going to turn up my color gain there. And you can see your IVC um, using the side approach. Usually, go ahead and breathe out. I sometimes like to use this view when um, I'm going anteriorly and I have a very gassy patient, which makes it kind of difficult to clean out the IVC. Um, but again, this is your anterior view and you can follow it down as much as you can. As you get to the mid-abdomen, you sometimes will uh, see some gas. Um, again, you can try to follow it down if you can. You can see the IVC uh, right in this area. You can see the color um, filling up. I'm going to turn my scale down a little bit to kind of increase the sensitivity of flow. And you can see an improved flow as I turn the color scale down. And this is about the mid-abdomen. I'm going to keep going until I get to the distal segment. And this is the distal segment of the IVC. Uh, you can see uh, because the IVC uh, uh, is sort of diving down, there's a change in color. Um, you're going from blue, which is IVC, which goes to the right, drains into the right atrium, as opposed to as I rock the probe down, going into the limbs of the patient. The key to optimizing abdominal vessels, because you know you're using an abdominal probe, is learning to rock the probe as you go up and down um, the, the belly. And this is exactly what I do as I travel down my vessel. I try not to move as much unless I really have to, and I just use a rocking approach to get as far as I can. Again, rocking back up, rocking back up, rocking back up would help optimize your view. You can check me out on www.divinescanning.com. Also, I'm on YouTube, and my books are available on divinescanning.com and on Amazon. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email on, uh, from my website. Um, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.